Whatever happened to Celine Tam? This powerhouse vocalist was just nine years old when she received the golden buzzer on America's Got Talent and she is undeniably one of the most memorable contestants of all time. Now, as a young teenager, Celine has gone on to do a number of amazing things, from advocating for animal rights to even writing a book, and so much more. Is there anything she can't do? It's your girl, Catherine, for Talent Recap, and let's jump right into it. The Hong Kong native began singing when she was just three years old. Her father is actually a vocal coach and committed to helping his daughter achieve her singing career, after hearing her belt it out to some Celine Dion. And quite fitting, considering the fact that both she and her younger sister are named after the French-Canadian superstar. Celine and Dion. Oh! oh wow. As she got older, she actually became known the Celine Dion of Hong Kong. And her blossoming skills led to her entering a variety of competitions. She first entered a number of different contests and expos in the Hong Kong area before making her way to the big leagues. In 2014, she auditioned for China's Got Talent where she made it to the final round. However, it was her appearance on America's Got Talent that gave her worldwide recognition. This is my dream being in America's Got Talent. Aww. Fun fact, she actually auditioned for Britain's Got Talent as well, but her performance was never aired. That's suspicious. That's weird. Yes, Cardi, I agree. That is weird and suspicious. The then nine-year-old took to America's biggest stage singing none other than, yep, you guessed it. Celine, can I ask you a question? Yeah. What artist are you going to be singing? Celine Dion. <laughs> Her stunning performance earned a standing ovation from the crowd and judges, leading to a unanimous yes vote to the next round. At the judge cut stage, she performed Michael Bolton's How Am I Supposed to Live Without You? It was at this point that things changed forever in the competition for Celine. Guest judge Laverne Cox was so impressed with her performance that she hit her golden buzzer, sending her straight to the quarterfinals. At this stage, she sang When You Believe by Whitney Houston and Mariah Carey. But Judge Mel B actually thought the song was too big for her, and her comments were followed by a series of boos from the crowd. Tonight, I think the song was just too big for you. I do. I think you're amazing, but I think you should have chosen a different song. But don't worry, the other judges quickly came to Celine's defense. No, forget everything she just said. Nonetheless, she received enough votes to make it to the semifinals round, where she performed the Oscar nominated hit How Far I'll Go from Moana. This was a massive, massive step up from what you've done before. The song was perfect for you. But unfortunately, her journey on AGT came to an end at this round. After her elimination, she posted a tweet thanking her fans and even wrote that she one day hopes to sing with Celine Dion. A few days later, Celine Dion actually retweeted her post and even invited her to her show in Las Vegas. Although Celine went home before the finals on AGT, this did not mean that she was done performing. After her time on the show, she began to write and compose her own songs. Then, in 2019, she took to the stage once again to audition for World's Got Talent, where she sang her original song, Who I Am. Who I am. Not falling short on her ability to impress the judges, she once again received a golden buzzer and became a finalist that year. These days, when Celine isn't performing or attending school like a normal kid, she is quite the little activist. In 2020, Celine posted a detailed YouTube video advocating for anti-animal products. She goes into detail to describe the process behind obtaining some of your favorite foods and even cosmetic products. What the companies do is that they try and replace the animal ingredients with other meatless products. You can see that this is a topic she's truly passionate about as she thanks her fans for sticking around to the end of the video. Last year, Celine also announced her commitment to global education by becoming a Room to Read ambassador. As an ambassador, the AGT semifinalist participates in fundraisers that advocate for gender inequality and literacy. By taking the step up for gender equality challenge, you are helping Room to Read keep girls on their path 
and achieve their dreams through education. The program enables low-income communities across Asia and around the world to reach their full potential and contribute to society. Celine even said that literacy and a love of books allowed her to chase her dreams. She is proud to support the millions of children around the world who are imagining their own futures. Most recently, Celine has even become an author. Following this, she was inducted into the University of Hong Kong's Academy for the Talented. Her story, titled Harper, raises awareness about the harmful effects of bullying. On her website and Instagram, Celine writes about the high percentages of people who fall into depression for this reason. She even said that she used her own pocket money to make the project happen. I think it's safe to say that she might have a few extra dollars lying around considering all the competitions she has won. In an act of charity, all the proceeds from the project are being donated to the Kota Hong Kong organization dedicated to enhancing the lives of children with deaf parents. As you can see, Celine Tam is quite the little angel. You can also be sure to check out her verified YouTube account to catch up on her covers and global singing performances. So what do you guys think about what Celine Tam has been up to these days? Make sure to let us know down in the comments below. You guys can also follow me at underscore Catherine Demeglio on Instagram and subscribe to Talent Recap on all platforms. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so you always know what's hot. Bye guys. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Well, I think you should hit the subscribe button down below and then we can talk.